Yes, we've been waiting a long time for we to explore this particular function which is found on whiteboard Microsoft and this function is known as the ruler function and this ruler function to activate it either we able to click on it or we on our keyboard type out plus R and so in here once you click on this we have this ruler right here that is displayed on your screen right now you notice that it is positioned at 45 degrees and this center function enables you to rotate your ruler either clockwise or counterclockwise and i'm going to show you how to do that on the other hand we have the ends of your ruler which has the checks in here and for each tick you should be able to measure how long a specific object is so remember for the center one you're measuring angles which is space between two lines or more lines but also on your other function which is the ruler side each end you have how long is a specific object how tall it is or how far a particular object is where it's another object and we're going to see how this is applicable in various examples on whiteboard so to move your ruler or left to right up and down all you do is click hold with your mouse and drag it wherever you want and if you click on that and you do that you should be able to accomplish that movement now take note that if i zoom in or zoom out this just changes the background of your specific whiteboard but it doesn't affect the ruler in terms of how far is your ruler or how long can it go on your whiteboard so that is something to keep in mind in here our next stop is how about for our center function which is in this case going to be involving angles in here what we can do is on your mouse you're going to have the rotating button that is at the middle of your two main left and right click or keys and once you click hold and rotate up or roll up you should be able to go to lower angles or moving towards the horizontal but then moving down you're moving towards the vertical and as you do that you should be able to activate this particular degrees function notice also that you are having the red mark that is positioned right there that red mark in here just tells you where your new position is and once it is lined up to exactly what you have that should be good the red mark i don't think there's any huge implications of that in here we're going to put it at 90 degrees and this is fantastic in here now we can combine a couple of functions in here in terms of not only the ruler function but in this case for example drawing a line and so what we do is click on your pen and whatever color you have just draw the line all the way straight down and you should be good and this is really wonderful in here because if you look at it on the other side outside of the ruler and you draw your line it's not as straight as possible but then once you move your cursor to the edge of your ruler and you draw right down it works smoothly even though you see that the cursor is kind of off your specific ruler it's still in this case going to give you or produce a straight line and once you click on this to remove the ruler again you're going to see that oh we got a straight line so this is amazing to actually see this applicable when it comes to drawing lines if you want to draw a shape in for example if you're drawing a specific triangle if you have a ruler and in this case you drag it here you can just have your specific line in this part we have want to measure the distance the length we can just go this here mark to be zero we'll move down to one two three four five five or let's go six six centimeters and once you do that you can then rotate this by moving your rotating icon all the way to let's go to zero degrees and this is going to be dragged down here and we are going to deactivate this for now and then click on this arrow to move this particular 
parts to the main frame and then go back to your roller and drag this up to this particular point and let's say we make this to be now from 0 to 4 and we just pick a different color and we can then draw our line 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's go to 5 and 5 and there we go so this is not only a wonderful way to use your angles but also measure your particular lines and design your triangle and finally here we're going to see what angle is made between this particular line that we're going to draw on the tip of our green to the tip of our specific red ends and so to do that all we do is we drag our ruler and you can start anywhere you want and we can then rotate it there we go something like this something like that not really accurate but now we're gonna make do with that somewhere around 50 to 51 degrees and so once we have that we can change the color of your pen and to do that we can just click on the top right corner of your pen we have blue and we are going to now draw the blue line from here all the way to there so that is going to be not only determining the hypotenuse in this case but most importantly how long is the hypotenuse and also determining what the angle the hypotenuse makes with in this case the adjacent which is in this case the red line so in here our goal is to determine what this particular angle is to determine what this particular theta angle is and to do that bring back your ruler and we see that it is 50 degrees from the horizontal as we see right there you can actually drag this right here and you can also use that as a way to determine what the angle is so in this case we have our angle which is theta make sure that to get the free hand we deactivate your ruler uh, we have our theta to be equal to 50 degrees celsius and so that is how you're able to play around with this rule of function not only in terms of determining the angle that two lines make but most importantly how long is one particular side relative to the other so in this case for our specific blue line we are going to determine how long it is uh, in this case start at zero one two three four five six seven and eight so approximately it is eight in terms of the length and we in this case the problem here is that it doesn't tell us whether it is centimeters kilometers meters in terms of the scale but we're going to make the scale assume that it is in centimeters and so this here is measured to be eight centimeters and voila that is how you're able to use the rule of function on whiteboard i hope you found this really informative if there are more applications in terms of how to use this rule of function please share those in the comment section down below by that way i can actually interact with you all and talk to you all soon stay smart as always and always believe in yourselves